Towards the end of 2000, uh, the year 2000, I started working at Task Force Argos, which is a dedicated unit focused on the uh, sexual exploitation of children. Around about the year 2002, uh, I received a phone call. What I vividly recall is that the first perhaps five minutes, there was just nothing. Uh, there was no, no, he didn't say anything. Uh, there was just crying. You could hear the sobbing at the end of the line. And what this man ended up divulging to me was he was nearly 50 years of age uh, and he had been placed in an orphanage at a very young age. And in between crying, uh, and uh, I guess essentially sobbing, he, he told me that what the gardener would do would be essentially to systematically rape those children. You know, this man was now approaching 50 and this happened a long time ago when he was very young in his life. And the tragedy of the whole thing was that I couldn't, I just couldn't do anything to help him because all of the witnesses or, uh, and the offender were dead. Uh, there was nothing from a law enforcement perspective I could do to help this man, uh, except just listen to his story and I guess perhaps harden my resolve and my focus to, to stop what was happening uh, at as young a possible age as I possibly could.